All right. Little update on the Hammerhead GTS 150. Um, yesterday I took it out for a spin. It was a hesitating, and when I when you first take off, it was hesitating, and I kept thinking everything's running good. I mean, I'm getting good good speed out of top speed out of it, and I'm like, well, I should check the carburetor again, make sure it's clean. Well, the carburetor was pretty clean, and uh, and the float bowl. Let's see. The float bowl is clean inside. It's got a little tarnish in there, I guess, when you said, but it's clean. Um, um, I, what I did was um, without having without having to drop the, uh, the float out again. These um, all right, there we go. Focusing this this jet here. I get a pointer here. The main jet here. It was everything was cleared. I took it off, and all the little bitty tiny holes were were clear. And the idle or jet. I think they call it the idle jet was clear everything all the pin, pinholes are clear in that I'm not really sure what that one is but but I made sure everything was cleaned out and I I, I ended up I can't get it to the idle mixture with these old carburetors I mean these uh, this is actually a uh, I don't know if anybody can read that 24 I think the 24 is a is the size of the jet but uh, over here if I can find it without dumping the oh, here we go is that it find that I have a, I have a screw hole where is that here it is okay over here is the low it's called the low idle mixture screw okay you can see I had there is plug just like the um, he's here were plugged uh, you know with these weird screws that I had to grind with the little Dremel tool and make little heads on make a little regular standard head size and get them out of there so I did that I ended up drilling out this this uh, idle screw thing, and and, uh, and I used these. These are those Milwaukee bits. I started out with the small one. I drilled a small hole, and I kept stepping it up. I stepped it up again, and then I moved on to a bigger one. And then the final one I use, I believe it was this one here. And I just kind of stuck it in my cordless drill, the Harbor Freight bill drill, and just put it on slow speed and just drill it out till I, the bottom out, open it up. Well, I didn't have to literally take the whole plug out, I guess. Um, you can actually, let's see if I can get this done balance right here. It's not gonna do it. So you can actually oops. It's hard. I don't know how you can do actually get the screwdriver in there and adjust the adjust the screw without having to take the whole plug out. You open it up wide enough to get your screwdriver in there. But the main jet I actually um, was able to drill it out a little bit, and I went to Harbor Freight and picked up you know, some tiny, tiny drill bits. I, I, I went through all the bits, all these different size bits. And stuck them in the hole, the original hole, 
until I found one, the next, the one that would not fit the next size up. And that's the one I picked to open the hole up with. It ended up being, I don't know which, which one it was. It was, not really sure what size it is. I get the calipers out. I don't have an accurate enough one to, but I got, I went over to Harbor Freight and they picked these up. You can get these drill bit sets at Harbor Freight. Uh, Warriors, 30 piece, item 61526, and, and here's all the different sizes for these. And, uh, but there's, there's some pretty tiny drill bits in there. And, uh, I was able to, uh, I did, I stuck it in drill, just sat on a table like that. And I now held the, I held the main jet and I kind of, I hand, actually a hand started it in there by, I help, you know, with my fingers and started drilling with my fingers a little bit until it gripped. So I knew it would fit in there. So I fit it in here and then I held the the jet like this and I made it sure it was straight in I kind of just let it walk itself in and finally once it walked in I was able to go slide it up and down and clean it out so I opened up the I opened that up a little bit and um, we'll see see if it uh, runs a little better today I might take it out for a big the hammerhead out for a spin today so that's where I'm at with the carburetor. Uh, I have to put it back together and uh, put it back on the on the uh, hammer head. And I'm thinking of a name for it. I think I'm gonna call it Chester, you know, because it's uh, orange and um, has certain significance with uh, orange. And uh, but I'm gonna call it Chester. So that's for it for now. But I just thought I'd give you guys a little idea how you can open up your your main jets on these things. Can't I couldn't get the uh, idler jet through there was a but the but you can uh, see through it's clear. I just I don't I don't know if it's gonna make a deal, but I think opening up the main jet is gonna make a big difference. So and then being able to adjust the uh, idle. Once I once I get it all back on, so we'll see. That's for for now.